can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this function f of x squared plus 1 equals x raised to the fourth power plus 6x squared plus 1. And the goal in this question is to find the value of f of x minus 2. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so there's a lot of way to answer this kind of question. But what I like to do is to use what we call the clay molding technique. So in this question, given f of x squared plus 1 equals x raised to the fourth power plus 6x squared plus 1, then the goal is to find the value of f of x minus 2. So to answer this using clay molding technique, we need our given function. So let's get our given function f of x squared plus 1 equals x raised to the fourth power plus 6x squared plus 1. Then using clay molding technique, we need to mold this function until we reach f of x minus 2. And that's the goal. Alright, so I will show you how to use this technique which is the clay molding technique. Okay, so let's begin. So the goal is f of x minus 2. And we have here x squared. Now, what we're going to do is to mold this x squared into just x. So we need to replace all of this x with square root of x. And if we do that, we get something like f of square root of x raised to the power of 2, which is our x. So we replace x with square root of x. So we mold this function. So we let all x be equal to square root of x. So this x raised to the fourth power becomes square root of x raised to the fourth power plus 6x. This x becomes square root of x squared and add 1. Now simplifying this, we have f of x plus 1 equals x squared plus 6x plus 1. So this is now our resulting function after the first molding. Now we need two moldings to go to this function f of x minus 2. So what we're going to do, we have now x plus 1. So to make this x minus 2, we need to replace all of this x with x minus 3. So that's the second molding. And if we do that, we have f of this x becomes x minus 3. This x becomes x minus 3, and this x becomes x minus 3. Now, x minus 3 plus 1, this is just x minus 2, which is the goal in this question. And simplifying this, x minus 3 raised to the power of 2, we have x squared minus 6x plus 9. 6 multiplied by x minus 3, we have 6x minus 18, then bring down 1. Now, let's focus on this result and combining like terms. Negative 6 and positive 6, this is just 0. Now, 9 plus 1 is 10, minus 18 is negative 8. So, f of x minus 2 is equal to x squared minus 8. And this is the function that we want in this question. So, using two moldings, the first molding and the second molding, we arrive at the answer f of x minus 2. Therefore, Given this function f of x squared plus 1 equals x raised to the fourth power plus 6x squared plus 1, then f of x minus 2 equals x squared minus 8. And as always, we are done.